Hi everyone in the world, Yahoo! I'm in the Mok Sensei です。Today it's JLPT N4 listening training, but it's a bit different style than usual. Let's check the example. 問題3。問題3では、絵を見ながら質問を聞いてください。矢印の人は何と言いますか ?1 から三の中から一番いいものを一つ選んでください。では練習しましょう。例。久しぶりに先生に会いました。何と言いますか一。ようこそ。二、失礼いたしました。三、お久しぶりです。一番いいものは三番です。So this time it's like this. You have to see the picture and then you have to choose the answer from the audio. So you have to listen really carefully. So for this example one, it says number one, ようこそ。Number two, 失礼しました And number three, お久しぶりです。ようこそ。What does this mean? Welcome. And 失礼いたしました This means number one, excuse me. And another meaning is we say this when we leave the room, for example. It means like, sorry for bothering you, I'm leaving now. And the answer number three. This means it's been a long time. So we say this when we meet a friend or someone who haven't seen for a while. お久しぶりです Or 久しぶり for casual form. So I prepared five questions. Let's get started. はじめよう一番コピーをしたいのですが、やり方がわかりません。聞きたいです。何と言いますか ?1。ちょっと教えてほしいんですが。2。ちょっと教えてもいいですか ?3。ちょっと教えてあげましょうか。So, what was your answer? The answer is Number one, ちょっと教えてほしいんですが is the answer. Let's hear it one more time with English subtitle. 一番コピーをしたいのですがやり方がわかりません。聞きたいです。何と言いますか一ちょっと教えてほしいんですが二ちょっと教えてもいいですか三。ちょっと教えてあげましょうか。The first one, ちょっと教えてほしいんですが、verb te form plus ほしい。てほしい。You can use this grammar when you need some help. For example, I would like to ask something. 教えてほしい。I want you to help me. 手伝ってほしい。I want you to listen to this song. この音楽を聞いてほしい。And the second one, ちょっと教えてもいいですか This is grammatically correct, but we don't say this phrase that often. But verb te form plus もいいですかてもいいですか It means can I do something? For example, トイレに行ってもいいですか ?Can I go to the toilet? これ食べてもいいですか ?Can I eat this?Number three, ちょっと教えてあげましょうか ?Again, this is grammatically correct, but this phrase is not common at all. But verb te form plus あげる This means shall I do something for you? 宿題を手伝って
ってあげます。I'm gonna help your homework for you. Well, anyways, this question was you wanted to make a copy, but you don't know how to do it. So, please use the phrase ちょっと教えてほしいんですが2番先生の研究室に入ります。何と言いますか ?1 失礼します。2ごめんください。3よろしくお願いします。OK, so what was your answer?This one again, the answer is number one. 失礼します。Let's hear it one more time. 2番。先生の研究室に入ります。何と言いますか ?1 失礼します。2ごめんください。3よろしくお願いします。失礼します。Excuse me. ごめんください。Also, excuse me. And よろしくお願いします。It's nice to meet you or thank you. So I will explain the difference between 失礼します and ごめんください。失礼します can be used in various ways, but in this case, it is used when you're entering the room of the superior. For example, your boss's office, senpai's room, or when you're interview and you have to enter the room. We knock the door first and then we say, 失礼します and then you can enter. And ごめんください What is ごめんください Generally used when visiting someone's house or workplace and asking for some guidance. So that is the difference. 3番先輩が荷物を持っています。重そうです。何と言いますか ?1 荷物持ちましょうか ?2 荷物取ってくれますか ?3 荷物貸してもらいます。OK, so what was your answer? Again, the answer is number one. 荷物持ちましょうか is the correct answer. Let's hear it one more time. 3番。先輩が荷物を持っています。重そうです。何と言いますか ?1。荷物持ちましょうか ?2。荷物取ってくれますか ?3。荷物貸してもらいます。荷物持ちましょうか ?Shall I carry your luggage? 荷物取ってくれますか ?Could you please take my luggage? And number three, 荷物貸してもらいます。I'd like to borrow your luggage. 持つ is to hold or to carry. Verb, しょうか is shall I or shall we do something? And number two, verb, て form plus くれますかてくれますか means could you please do something? So, とってくれますか means could you please hand me something? Like, リモコンとってくれますか And verb て form plus もらう This means to get somebody to do something. So, the answer is number one. 先輩、荷物持ちましょうか ?4 番。国に帰ります。先生や友達に何と言いますか ?1 お先に2お大事に3どうぞお元気でごめんみんな。Sorry guys, I forgot to film answer part. The answer is number three. 三番です。Let's hear it one more time. 4番。国に帰ります。先生や友達に何と言いますか ?1 お先に2お大事に3どうぞお元気で。
So let me explain from number one. Osaki ni. Osaki ni means to do something first before then someone. So we often use this osaki ni in the office, for example, when you're leaving before the other colleagues, we say osaki ni shitsure shimasu means I'm gonna leave before the new guys. Bye, see you tomorrow. Osaki ni shitsure shimasu. And odaiji ni is only used for take care for someone who are sick, um, has flu or have headache. We say daijoubu. Odaijini. Are you okay? Please take care. The answer is number three. Dozo o genki de. Dozo o genki de also means please take care. We say this to people who moves out and for those of people who are not gonna see for a long time. We say dozo o genki de as a goodbye. Goban. 友達が電話しています。でも、ここで携帯電話を使ってはいけません。何と言いますか all right, so this was the last question. What was your answer? The answer was number one. Koko de keitai o tsukattara dame da yo. Let's hear one more time. Goban. Tomodachi ga denwa shite imasu. Demo, koko de keitai denwa o tsukatte wa ikemasen. Nan to iimasu ka? Ichi. ここで携帯を使ったらダメだよ。2。ここでは携帯は使わなくていいよ。3。ここは携帯が使いにくいね。So first of all, 電話 is phone and 携帯電話 this means mobile phone, cell phone or smartphone. We say 携帯電話. But these day we also say スマホ or smartphone. So number one, koko de keitai o tsukatta ra dame da yo. Dame means you should not or you must not. Tsukatta ra dame, you should not use. And number two, koko de keitai o tsukawa na kute i yo. Kute i. Tsukawa na kute i. This na kute i means you don't have to. For example, tabenakute i, you don't have to eat. Ikanakute i, you don't have to go. And number three, koko wa keitai ga tsukai nikui ne. Verb stem form plus nikui, this means difficult to do something. Minikui, difficult to see. Aruki nikui, difficult to walk. Got it? Well done! How was it? How was your score? Was it 5 out of 5? Please let me know in the comments. Also, I have a playlist for Dell PT practice. So if you haven't checked it yet, please check and try other um, Dell PT quizzes. And don't forget to subscribe, push like button, and see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mata ne!